Ian, we're going to talk, and we're going to okay. be putting this together with footage from the yearbooks and the archives. The lighting okay, system. I got some notes. Awesome. Do you want to just start talking when it's time, or do you want me to prompt you with anything? Do you, you can start. You can edit anyway. Okay. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, do you want to take off your name badge? Okay. Oh, yeah, because I want to see your NYU tie, too. Perfect. Oh, right sure. Right right That's just a little bit. Thanks so much. There we go. <coughs> You're good? So first, just start with your name, school, and class year. Okay, my name is Thomas J. Craner, class of Washington Square College, 53, graduate school of business, 56. Great. And do you have a favorite or most important NYU memory or story? Well, I guess it all started the first day. The first day, I immediately joined the Washington Square Bulletin as a reporter with the idea of going into journalism. And um, one of the senior editors on the paper, uh, a fellow by the name of Stan Asimov, brother of Isaac Asimov, the science fiction writer, said to me, don't major in journalism, it's a tough field. Try to find something else and then go into journalism. So I switched my major from journalism to two majors and two minors, which did well from in the business area and I became a business journalist as well as a consumer magazine journalist. Did some television, did a lot of travel, and then eventually went into public relations. But at NYU, the big experience was working on the school newspaper, founding a magazine called Campus, which was uh, a literary magazine and a general purpose magazine. Uh, it was the era of Clive Davis, the famous move music producer, and Bob Arum, the president of Top Frank Boxing. And these were my compatriots at NYU. Um, beyond that, um, the experience that I had as an undergraduate and the experience I had professionally in business led me to be an adjunct assistant professor at NYU where I taught at night. Uh, then I went into public relations, communications, uh, and that's the, the nutshell of it. Um, as far as NYU activities go, I've never really left NYU. I was active in the College of Arts and Science alumni. I'm a past president of that group and chairman of their awards committee, and I'm a member of the NYUAA board. And why do you stay involved with NYU? Well, NYU is an interesting place to stay with. Many students or many alumni say to me, well, I go back the first two years and I don't know anybody after that, so why should I come back? I tell them that after a year or two, the entire alumni is, are your classmates in effect. Whether they went to school in the 30s or the 40s or 50s or 2000 or whatever, they all become one. And the advantage of being active with them in becoming friendly with the people who graduated from the medical school or the dental school or college of arts or business or what have you become lifelong friends and when you're down here three times a week or four times a week you don't know you know practically everybody and you don't know where they're going they don't know if you're going to your meeting or you're going to their meeting but it's one whole big family and uh, with the associations we've met the presidents i've served in in effect the deans I've served in, it's been a great experience. And I welcome all New York University freshmen to become active in the Alumni Association the day they join NYU. That's excellent. Um, is there a faculty member or professor you particularly remember from your time at NYU? Yeah, a couple of them. One was my advisor, Emanuel Stein, who was an economics professor, who was my advisor and Oscar Cargill, who was Department of uh, English Chairman. And um, I did a paper where, in effect, I interviewed people who were long gone and put it into an essay. And I think it was the only double A I ever got in a, in a uh, writing course. That's excellent. Um, let me see what other questions I wanted to ask you. Do you have a favorite spot on the NYU campus, having seen it sort of change over the, the years? Well, the favorite spot, I can confess, as often as I'm down here, I get lost. Uh, what was once the 
place where we used to hang out, like Globe Student Center, is not no no longer a building. Um, we've had a lot of fun here. Not to directly answer your question, I was chairman of a Homer Watt lecture series at NYU, and um, the guy who wrote Kramer versus Kramer was an NYU graduate, and um, I asked him to speak. And he was the only person that ever turned me down for this lecture series. He said that when I went to NYU, I wanted to be a writer, but my advisor made me go into business. And I never was really happy going into business, and so I don't want to come back and give you a speech. And I said, well, that advisor is long gone. The students would love to hear from you. The alumni would love to hear from you. Come back. And he was not convinced. That's great. Um, let's see. So you were here, you did multiple degrees here. During your time on campus, were there any historical events that happened during the world that sort of impacted the campus culture or environment? Well, we had uh, Korea and um, we had ROTC on campus. That was fairly historic. Um, Having, having seen the student newspaper today versus the student newspaper when I was on it, history repeats itself because so many of their editorials and so many of their actions and so many of their petitions are pretty much the same that we had. Uh, the dates have changed but not the events. Mm -hmm. Did you have a lot of classmates who left to go fight in the war or came back uh, after fighting the war? A bunch of them did, yes. Uh, in that, those years, you had a choice of going into ROTC or getting drafted, and many of them did. Um, I think we still stay together, a lot of us. I mean, Clive's an old friend, and he has people to his house every so often who, who are in our, in our generation class, and we followed his career pretty well. Wonderful. I think our next interview is here, but this was so great. I'm, think, I'm glad you stopped back. I got one, one sure. more thing I could say. When I went to graduate school of business administration, I went right from undergraduate work, and most of the students there were older than I was. And so one day, some of these senior students, in effect, said to me, would you like to go to the H&H &H Club for dinner? And I said, wow, the H&H &H Club, that, that sounds pretty expensive, pretty good. So I accepted. And what it was was the old horn and hearted automat where you put a nickel into the slot and got a sandwich. It wasn't any big deal, but it was a lot of fun. That's great. Thank you so much, Tom. Okay. Thank you for stopping Thank by. You. How are the interview?